Hey, there it is, folks. That is a Grand Design Transcend 245RL. That's a rear living. Just take a quick look at the outside, and then we'll take a look at the inside. First thing you'll notice is that uh, powder-coated aluminum uh, siding on it. So one of the advantages of traditional construction is it does hold up longer if you're outdoors. Holds up to the weather better over the years than the uh, uh, gel coat that you're going to find on your uh, fiberglass siding these days. Uh, here is your convenient center. This is a quick disconnect uh, for your uh, uh, battery if you have it in storage. That is a 25 amp solar charge controller. There's a 165 watt solar panel up on the roof. It's got these corner jacks like that. So the advantage of those is uh, they're actually more reliable. You can operate them with a, uh, I think it's a three quarter inch socket on a uh, cordless drill screwdriver. Uh, they'll lo lower down quickly. Or on my RV, I just, I've got a cordless drill, but I just do them by hand. It's no big deal for me. I, I don't mind that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. Take a look at this floor plan. It's got a front door and a back door. The front door goes into the uh, bedroom. And the back door comes into the rear living area. It's the RL. So we'll, when you first walk in, there is a sofa right here. Back away. That makes into a bed. So you can use that as a sleeping area. You notice it's got windows too, lots of windows. That's what you want in your RV. This one, there's windows on every side. But you've got that trifold sofa right there, it makes into a bed, tabled on each side. And then, uh, and there's a little uh, cabinet space down there. There's a 110 on each side, so you can uh, power up your devices from that. There's storage up above. Sorry about the lighting here. There's a little bit of a glare. See, we can get it better now. There we go. So you have the storage up top there. And then uh, over here, this is a uh, reclining. It's a triple wide sofa that works as captain's chairs also, or theater seats. It's got that armrest in the middle, so it's versatile. Getting a little glare in here today. Sorry about that. Try working my camera work. So you can put that down if there's two people. And have a cup holder here. A little table to put things on. Uh, keep your phone right there. Your snacks. Or you can put it up. And uh, have room for more people right there. So it's versatility is good in a uh, RV. So... There is a skylight right there. That's kind of a nice touch. You could put a, a little insert in there to block that out. So that is the rear living area. You've, so, so I'll tell you what's not here is a dinette. Uh, you can always use TV trays. Let me take a peek back here. There may be a table. I don't see a table, but uh, you could use TV trays here. Uh, that's uh, So we're not trying to sell you on the... I don't want to sell you on the idea that you don't need a dinette. If you're telling me it's okay that I don't have a dinette, then this is one I would show you. If you came here on the lot, said I gotta have a dinette, let's look at ones with the dinette. This one doesn't have it, but what that creates is lots of open space here. And uh, it makes it very comfortable when you're just hanging out. You, but I, I would say TV trays are a good solution here. You know, if you eat at the, Eat in your recliner at home, you probably don't need an explanation. So I'm not going to go on with that anymore. Here is the kitchen. See the TV is directly across from this uh, sofa combo, theater seat combo. And there's lots of uh, storage space right there. That's not under the sink, that's just storage space. There's additional space under the sink. You notice that one on the bottom there uh that that's a good space as far as i'm concerned you could use that to put some uh shoes if you want to have a place to keep flip-flops and so you use it for whatever you want that's just something i've noticed when we're out nice to have a place that you can stow away some uh, flip-flops when you come in might have shoes all over the place so there's a couple of drawers this is a very rich looking interior 
and there is the uh, stainless steel sink and the cooktop the oven the big drawer underneath the oven and look at that really nice looking cabinet work there with those glass inserts of course it has a microwave oven here's a little uh, thing from uh, Grand Design you can actually this is pretty good information if you're considering they are very well insulated I can tell you that from you get them in in the summertime you get in these and they uh, they're not as hot they don't get as hot as some of the other RVs that some of our trade-ins and stuff would compare them to talks about the solar system uh, if you want a big water tank you got a 62 gallon fresh water I, I usually don't try to remember that stuff because we don't want to get it wrong but uh, here is uh, just more information you can freeze it. I normally wouldn't just sit here and show a graphic like this, but this is really good information that they're sharing uh, here on this printed material. Okay, so here we go. Now, so this is a rear living. That's the rear living section. There's the kitchen. It's open concept. This, the coach itself is about 24 feet long. I have to check the specs. We can look them up. Just send me a text. I'll be happy to check. It's probably about 29 foot over all 29 feet. Got plenty of headroom in here. Okay, and then what this has is a pass-through bath. In the bath, it goes the full width of the coach. So the advantage of that is you just have a lot of room. You have a lot of floor space here. When you're waking up, here's your queen-size bed you've got room to get ready you're not it's not claustrophobic so uh, there's some people that don't want a, a pass-through bath but uh, for other people it works really well there is a bedroom door uh, that goes outside and you could get to the other side by going outside and then coming back in the other door but uh, it's nice looking woodwork or cabinetry in here you have that corner medicine cabinet nice size shower look at this toilet plenty of room there it's just very roomy it's the full width of the coach there's little cubby storage areas there there's three of those so you got plenty of space to keep stuff there's more shelf there shelves there for your toiletries place to hang up your towels sorry about moving the camera a little fast there let's go ahead and get in the shower so the shower i'm going to say you could be six two, six one and a half, and be okay. Uh, if you're, if it's close for you, just send me a text. I'll measure it for you. Be happy to do that. All right. So here on the queen size bed, uh, it, you can walk around it easily on both sides. You see, there's a door right there, and then right over here to the right is a, uh, it's a little wardrobe up here where you can hang up clothes. There's a place to hang clothes. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's a little dark. Uh, let me push this open a little bit. So you can see there is a, a wardrobe right there with mirrors. There's a wardrobe on that side, a place to hang stuff, a uh, place you can put a CPAP. There's a 110, a USB. Remember, this has a 165 watt solar panel up on the roof, a 25 amp solar charge controller. Really comes in handy. I haven't shown you the fridge, but. Uh, we'll go over that in a second there's storage up top there there's a vent right here you can open up you said ducted AC so here's some shelves right here and a table so this is not a wardrobe on that side you've got the place to hang up clothes right there let me double check here I was busy talking yeah, these are shelves over here so you can fold up clothes there and then you can hang up clothes in here there's a place to hang them up so you, uh, then it has this pocket door here uh, that uh, goes into the bathroom so so I appreciate you taking time to view this uh, video my name is Duke my cell phone number is going to be in the description below it's 281-467-0659 just send me a text I'll be happy to help you 281-467-0659. Now, if you watch this video all the way to the end, uh, thank you, and uh, please feel welcome to hit the thumbs up button. 
boost my confidence a little bit. And if you're interested in looking at purchasing this particular unit or any of the ones I'm featuring on my channel, uh, let me know. I'll work with you. If you just want to find out more about it, uh, if, if we end up working out a deal, I would disclose all the terms and conditions. I didn't show you the fridge. So that is a uh, deep fridge right there. It's a 12 volt fridge, so that'll run off of the uh, solar, the solar and the battery. It's 12 volts, and uh, that one has a uh, uh, eight. It's eight cubic feet. If that's how many cubic feet you're looking for, that's how many it's got, according to that brochure. But yeah, if we make a deal, I'll disclose everything. No games, no hassle, no surprises. Uh, we'll give you all the terms and conditions. You can see the flooring there. Uh, so when you get here, you'll already know the price, the payments, your trade-in value, all that stuff. We can work all that out in advance. You sign the papers. Then I'll set up a reservation for you in our campground. But before that, we'll walk through this RV inside and out, show you how everything operates, and uh, answer any questions you have. And then uh, we invite you to do some urban camping with full hookups here. And you can enjoy the sights of... Uh, uh, we're on the west side of Houston, out in Waller County, a little bit out of town, but we're close to Houston, so we're convenient to lots of shopping. There's museums, there's uh, all different kinds of outdoor shops. Uh, you know, if you want to look at, if you're interested in fishing, boating, uh, whatever it is you're interested in, you can look at RVs while you're here too, other RVs, but uh, we'll be happy to, uh, to, uh, help you with any questions you have and then make your RV experience better by starting out if there's 